Hi, my name is Asper and I'm a Pakistani Muslim. And we'd like to say something. We're from the part of the world called South Asia. And by the way, that's not the Middle East. And we would like to talk about the recent Paris attacks. As you all may know, on the 13th of November, the French capital saw barbaric acts of terror. And we'd like you to know that we're just as shocked and horrified as everyone else around the world. And we're constantly praying for your safety and security. We actually are one of the few nations who completely understand what you guys are going through. Why? Because incidents like these are really common in Pakistan. In fact, less than a year ago, a school in Peshawar was attacked where more than 130 children were brutally killed. But we are not going to be apologetic about it. And here's why. We cannot possibly be held responsible for the actions of a few deranged individuals who somehow claim to be like us. Let me just put that in perspective for you. That's like blaming all Germans for the actions of Hitler. Or, for that matter, blaming Chinese people for the actions of Mao. Or blaming the Russians for the actions of Stalin. Did you know that contrary to popular belief, Muslims are the biggest victims of terrorism? In fact, out of the top 10 countries in the world which are suffering from terrorism, 8 of them are Muslim states. Just last year alone, 18,668 people were killed in Muslim majority areas like Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria. Now it's easy to blame the refugees who are coming to Europe in mass, but you have to understand that they are running away from the same people who are carrying out these attacks. Trust me, the only time an average Muslim is frustrated is when Nutella is out of stock. Angry? When we lose at FIFA. Annoyed? When we don't get our morning coffee. And the only thing that we slice and roast is a good piece of juicy beef steak. In all honesty, we're the same people as you. We have the same fundamental problems that you have. We have the same hopes, dreams and ambitions as you. And when we go to bed at night, we fall asleep hoping and praying to wake up to a better world for all of us.